so today we're going to be discussing probing and kind of clearing and differentiating your brachial plexus. So to first orient you, we're looking at a lateral view into the auxilla of the bunny. Here's its forearm. You can see its upper arm here and bits of its forearm here. Um, I've taken out half of pec minor here just to kind of open up the auxilla more and give me a better access to the brachial plexus, as well as pec major is reflected here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Awesome. So once you get to this point in your dissection and you've reflected pec major, you've removed part of pec minor or all of pec minor and gained better access into the auxilla, you're going to take your probe and rather than cutting or um, using your scissors or um, tweezing at it right away, you want to take your probe and kind of slide it in between structures and wiggle it back and forth just to separate things and differentiate between structures. And you're just going to do that until you've kind of cleared out and separated a bunch of things kind of like that. Very gentle, it'll be very tedious, but um, it'll help you keep and contain all the vital structures rather than ripping them out or damaging them. Also, you'll find um, I've cleared up Bun Bun's brachial plexus a bit already, but you'll find there'll be very dense fat um, fascia and a bit of pec minor residue still left in there and you just want to take after you've separated everything just take your probe or tweezers pardon me and just clear off some of that stuff very gently um, and then just wipe it off to, and then you'll get a better and clearer view of what you're looking at 